Hello, this video is about a request for more details of my MIDI settings in the Kronos and in MainStage. In my keyboard setup that I've shown you in the last three videos. So you see my setup in the studio, the Korg SV1 and the Kronos. And over here we got my MacBook Pro with a main stage on it. So I'm gonna show you how my MIDI settings are there. Right now we're gonna start with main stage. So this is the concert I used. We have to define a MIDI channel for the program changes. So we go to the concert and down there at the writer MIDI you see program changes from the device Bluetooth MI1. So that's my Kronos connected via Bluetooth MIDI with the computer. That's the Bluetooth. And the channel is channel number six for the program changes. So that's the first thing. So now we choose a sound that's uh, Everybody Needs Somebody from the Blues Brothers. And over here you see the SV1 and the Kronos and some controls. On the SV1 we have a layer, so on the bottom there is an organ and I use this uh, Apple's Vintage Organ and the Rotary Effect from UVI and on the top there is a piano. So for this piano the sound comes from the Kronos. So this channel strip over here is an external MIDI instrument and you see the MIDI output is Bluetooth MI1, that's my Kronos, on channel 1. All the MIDI information from the SV1 coming to main stage are just going MIDI through on channel 1 over the Bluetooth connection to my Kronos. So that's it in main stage. Now let's have a look at the Kronos. So I use this Kronos editor software to show you how I work in the Kronos, how I program the settings in the Kronos, the MIDI settings. So first, in the global settings, if I go to MIDI, my MIDI channel, my ground channel in the Kronos is 7. So program changes are going on channel 6, the SV1 is going on channel 1 and the Kronos has channel 7. All right. So my set list. Here's that sound we just got in main stage. So I go to combi and choose that one. So you see over here I got two programs for the press section. These are sample sounds from all the synthesizers I had. Over here is a program for the program changes. And over here, there is my piano for the SV1. So the program changes are set to external. All the others are internal sounds. And you see over here, that's bank number one. And this is patch number 25. In main stage, it's patch number 26 because the Kronos starts counting at zero and main stage starts counting at one. Okay, let's have a look at the MIDI settings. I go to Timbre parameters. Over here are the MIDI channels. So for the press section, I got the crown channel, channel number seven. For the program change, I have channel number six, as I defined in main stage, and for the SV1, it's channel number one. So the first sounds are played on the Kronos by the Kronos and sound number, program number nine is played by the SV1 going MIDI through main stage on channel number one. Here's a little bug, I think, uh, in the Kronos editor. So it says channel number one G for ground channel. That's wrong because my ground channel is 7. If you look on the Kronos itself, ground channel is 7 and on the 7 there is a G, not on the 1. Now we can have a look at a sound from main stage. If I play 
the keys of the Kronos, sending the information, the media information to main stage, playing the sound in main stage. Let's go back to the set list and let's choose an organ. 70 banks. So I call this, it's German, I call this main stage only. So there are just sounds coming from main stage and no internal chrono sounds. You see that all the buttons are muted, so no sound from the chronos. The first one is for the program change, so that's bank number one, chronos A, and this is patch number 70 in the chronos, and it's 71 in main stage. This is going external on channel number six. And the second program is going external too and muted as well because it's just sending MIDI information to main stage. So in the MIDI channel you see that the first channel is sending on 6, the program change, and the second channel is sending on channel 1. So I can play an instrument in main stage. All right. And right now, like this, I can just mix main stage and chrono sounds, just as I like. I can define a layer in main stage and in the chronos, and so split the whole keyboard and every keyboard can play every sound. So hopefully this was a little helpful for you, the MIDI settings of my chronos and main stage. See you next time for the next video. Bye bye.